second october 2023 morning early om shanti batada madhupan sweet children everything the father tells you is new for the new world he gives you new directions and this is why his ways and means are remembered as unique question in which aspect does the merciful father caution all your children in order for you to make your fortune elevated answer bible says if you want to make your fortune elevated do service if you simply eat and sleep and don't do service you won't be able to make your fortune elevated to eat without doing service is wrong therefore bible cautions you everything depends on how you study you brahmins have to study and teach others you have to relate the true gita the father has mercy for you and this is why he continues to enlighten you about everything song from the day that you and i made everything had seemed new oh shanti the spiritual father explains to you when your children find the unlimited father everything he tells you is new because this father is the one who establishes the new world human beings cannot see such a new things the father who is also called heavenly god the father is the unlimited father who establishes heaven it is raven who establishes hell there are five vices and the female and the five vices and the male that is a raven community so those things that baba has told you about are new are they not it is the supreme father the supreme soul who is called ram who creates heaven it is raven who creates hell people make an effigy of him every year and burn it once someone has been burned you wouldn't be able to see his effigy means form again that soul goes and takes another body his features etc all change here they make a raven with the same features every year and then burn it in fact just as incarpore shivava doesn't have any features in the same way raven doesn't have any features either raven is the vices the father explains what the people on the path of devotion want god comes to give the fruit of devotion and to give protection because there is a lot of sorrow and devotion there is temporary happiness the lives of the people of parat are very unhappy someone's child might have died someone might have gone bankrupt their lives are unhappy the father says i come to make everyone's life happy the father comes and tells you new things he says i have come to establish heaven there you will not enlarge in vice that is a viceless kingdom and this is a vicious kingdom if you want the kingdom of heaven then only the father establishes that raven establishes the kingdom of hell the father asks you will you come to heaven will you become the emperors and empresses of paradise the masters of the world these things are not mentioned in the vedas or scriptures the father doesn't tell you to say ram ram or to stumble from door to door or go to the temples and pilgrimage places or study the gita and bhagavat etc no there are no scriptures in the golden age no matter how many vedas and scriptures you study or how many sacred fires you hold or chanting you do or donations you give or charity you perform all of that it's simply stumbling there is no attainment through that there is no aim or objective on the path of devotion i have come to make you 
and the masters of heaven at this time all are residents of hell if you tell anyone that he is a resident of hell he would get upset in fact you know that the iron age is called hell and that the golden age is called heaven the father has brought the sovereignty of paradise he says if you want to become the masters of heaven you definitely have to become pure the main thing is purity some people say that they would never be able to remain pure oh but you are made pure so that you can go to heaven first of all you have to return to the land of peace and then go to heaven you tell those of all religions you have to renounce your bodies become bodiless and then return home therefore you have to break body consciousness it is a body relation when you say i am a christian or i am a buddhist souls reside in the sweet home so the father says will you return to the land of liberation there you will remain in peace tell me how will you be able to go back remember me your father your sweet home renounce all the relations of bodies this one is a maternal uncle this one is paternal uncle renounce all of those bodily relations consider yourselves to be bodiless souls remember me that's all this is the only effort i do not tell you anything else renounce all the scriptures etc that you have studied i am giving you new corrections for the new world it is said that god's ways and names are unique gati it said to be liberation the father tells you new things when people hear these things they say that whatever you tell them here are new things these are not the things of the scriptures in fact these are the things of the gita but people have falsified the gita i have not taken up the gita the religious book that is written later i speak knowledge to you no one else would ever say you are my long lost and now found children only the incorporeal supreme soul says this he speaks to you incorporeal souls you souls listen to him this body is the organ no one understands this things there human beings speak to human beings whereas the supreme soul sits here and speaks to your souls we souls listen to him through these ears you know that the supreme father the supreme soul sits here and explains to us people wonder how god would explain the thing that it is god shri krishna who speaks oh but shri krishna is a bodily being and not a bodily being and bodiless and i speak to bodiless souls so people are amazed when they hear these new things the children who heard this in the previous cycle like this a lot they study here and they say mama baba there cannot be blind faith here in a worldly way too children would call their parents mother and father you now have to stop remembering those worldly parents and remember the parlokic mother and father the parlokic mother and father is the one who teaches you the exchange of nectar he says oh children now stop giving and taking poison give one another the teachings that i gave you and you will become the masters of heaven if you listen to even a little you will go to heaven however if you are unable to make others the same as yourselves you will go and become maids and servants maids and servants are number wise the maids and servants who look after the children would surely be those with a good status if while staying here 
you don't study you become maids and servants subjects to and number wise those who study well receive a very high status the wealthy subjects would have maids and servants each one of you has to look at your own face what am i worthy of becoming if any of you were to ask baba baba would quickly tell you the father knows everything and he also shows you the evidence for why that is what you will become even though someone may have surrendered himself or herself there is an account in that too if they have surrendered themselves but don't to service and simply content to eat and drink they use up and finish what they gave they eat away all they gave and don't to service and they therefore became third class maids and servants yes if something that service and eats that's fine if someone doesn't do any service but simply eats he would use everything up and would then accumulate a burden some stay here and eat whatever they give some don't give anything but they do perform a lot of service and so they claim a high status mama didn't give any wealth but she attains a very high status because she does baba spiritual service there is an account some have the intoxication of giving everything they have to baba and that they have sent it themselves however they do it do they not baba gives you all the examples if you don't do service you just eat and finish it all it is said those who sleep lose out to eat without doing eight hours of service is wrong if you continue to eat you won't be able to accumulate anything and you will then have to do service the father has to tell you everything so that no one can say why didn't you tell us before baba gave everything and he also content to do service and that's why he receives a high status if you send her yourself but simply sit and eat away and don't do service what would you become some don't follow shrimat baba is especially explaining to you so that at the end no one can ask why is my status like this the father explains this will be the consequent cycle after cycle if you do not do service and eat for free therefore baba continues to caution you you should understand that your status would be destroyed for cycle after cycle baba feels mercy and this is why he enlightens you about everything if you don't do service you won't be able to claim a high status those who live at home with their families and do service receives a very high status everything depends on your studying and teaching others you are brahmans you have to relate the true gita those people carry a religious book under their arms you don't carry anything under your arms you are true brahmans you have to relate the truth and enable them to have true attainment all the rest have made you go into loss this is why it is written that all of that is false baba tells you the truth and makes you into the masters of the land of truth this matters have to be understood it is not a small thing to become a master of the world those who are sensible children will continue to make plans we will build such buildings with golden bricks we will do this while a child of a wealthy person is growing up he would have such thoughts as i will do this and i will build this you too are going to become prince in the future and so you would have the interest i will build such palaces that no one else would have those who study well and teach others would have this thoughts there will be the sovereignty 
So you should have such a thoughts in your intellects with which number will I pass? This is a very big school. Many hundreds of thousands and millions will come here to study. Only the father sits here and explains all of those things. God is one. He is called the mother and father. He comes and adopts you. These are such deep matters. This is a new school and the one teaching you is new. He explains to you so well. They are prunes of those who are what they will be filled. They will remember the father, the mother and father never forget anyone. So how can the children of the Confluence age forget the father? Acha. The world is in chaos whereas the children are in silence. There is peace in silence and happiness in peace. You know that after liberation there is liberation in life. Your children simply have to remember two words Alpha, Allah and Beta, the sovereignty. By simply remembering the Alpha, you receive the sovereignty. What else remains? There is then just buttermilk left. When you have found Alpha, it means you have found the butter and all the rest is buttermilk. It is like that. It is not. We stay in silence. You know that. You stay in silence and follow Srimad. However, it is a wonder that some children don't remember Alpha fully. They forget him. Maya brings storms. The father also says, Man manabhav, madhya jibhav. These words are mentioned in the Gita. You should ask those who study the Gita. What is the meaning of Man Manabhav and Madhaji Bhav? The father says, Remember me and you will receive the sovereignty. Renounce all body religions and become bodiless and remember the father and you will receive the sovereignty. It is also mentioned in the Grantha. Chant the name of Alpha and you will receive the sovereignty. You receive the sovereignty of the land of truth. Compared to the world, you are completely unique. No one else would say this. The father is telling you new things. All the rest only speak of old things. This is something very easy. Belong to Alpha and you will receive the sovereignty. You still have to make effort. The more service you do to make others the same as yourselves, the more fruit you will receive. People neither know Alpha nor Beta. Beta means the butter of the sovereignty. They show butter in the mouth of Sri Krishna. Surely the one who established heaven would have given the sovereignty. Acha to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the Thadna. First point, you have to return to the sweet home. Therefore, Forget your body relations and relations and consider yourselves to be bodiless. Maintain this practice. Second point, give others the teachings that you have received from the Father. Make others the same as yourselves. You definitely have to do eight hours of service. Blessing, may you finish any illness of flu with pure feelings and experience being sustained with feelings and thereby became an embodiment of success. Explanation All of you children have received Bhaktada's elevated directions. Children constantly have this pure feelings. I am a most elevated soul, that is, a soul who is one out of multi millions. I am a deity soul, a great soul, a soul with a special part. 
maintain these feelings and you will not have the flu of any wasteful feelings impure feelings cannot come when there are these pure feelings by doing this you will be saved from any illness of flu that is from having to work hard and will constantly experience yourself to be being sustained with blessings and receiving success in the service that you do slogan to become most elevated being who follows the highest code of conduct at the conference age is the elevated aim of this brahman life om shanti